Uh, were the ancient Egyptians enlightened at all? They appear, they appear to have substantial amounts of knowledge and achievements under their belts for such an early culture. Did they have any influence on Greece? Do you guys know much about? They definitely had some influence on Greece. There's no question there that some of the things discovered, um, uh, particularly mathematical and uh, ge geometry began, at least the, the Greeks themselves, people like Aristotle, think of geometry as having begun in Egypt and come to Greece. Mm -hmm. Whether they were enlightened, I mean, when we talk about enlightenment, we're talking about a particular period and a particular movement that wasn't going on in Egypt, but they learned some stuff and that was there good. There was definitely a civilization there. There was, and they, and they advanced certain things, but it was also pretty, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, Anka. I mean, there's, I think of it like this. There's two great periods of human progress that are on a scale that you don't see. So Egypt, we're talking about centuries and centuries and centuries, and it's not that much development. It's, it's much more happened. sophisticated than if you go back 5,000 years from that. It, it, but it's, it's not that much development. But you see in ancient Greece an explosion and a progress in 150 years that is unbelievable from where they start to what they're doing um, at, the, at the sort of the height of ancient Greece. And you see that the scientific um, revolution into the enlightenment. And I think what's distinctive is it's what there's a shift from just the content and acquisition of knowledge and skills to the pressing concern of how do we know this and how do we do this? So there's an explicit focus on methodology. And when you get that, and when you get that in a good way, that are, they're asking, how, how do we know this? And how do we do this? And you see this in all, in ancient Greece, in all the things they're doing, in history, in art, in architecture, there's a real focus on, and it, like a conscious focus on the method by which we do this. And that's what the scientific revolution is the scientific method, people think. It's the, now we're taking conscious control of how we're approaching it. And when you get that, it's that's progress. And you can think of it as a Greek enlightenment in a way that I don't think of it as an Egyptian enlightenment, pre precisely for that reason. Yeah, I mean, there's a, even though they influenced, there's a sharp break between uh, uh, Egyptian Mesopotamia and, and then the sharp break with, with, uh, with Greece. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brutes. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, Please take this opportunity, go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...